Ladies and gentlemen, Salam Mike, welcome to the video. Today we're talking about knee sleeves powerlifting, the brand new SBD powerlifting sleeves. So SBD has arguably been the gold standard in the game and they have not come out with a new pair, but a lot of companies are pushing the boundaries on what a knee sleeve looks like. For those that don't know, I'm Salam Mike, I'm a coach, I'm a business owner, I own good company apparel, as well as Third Street Barbell. Previously to that, I worked in the equipment industry for over seven years, helping designing R&D. Um, I've obviously powerlifted myself since around 2010. Before we dive into the video, if you wanna get involved, man, it's our birthday here at Third Street Good Company, 3sb.co. We got 30 to 50% off everything on the website, but only for today. So if you're watching the video tomorrow, you're screwed. So just till tonight, everything is 30 to 50% off. Check it out, 3sb.co. We're gonna try these SBD sleeves. Already off the texture, it feels a little different. We got a, a small form here. Um, obviously they're patented seam on the red. The outside um, does feel much rougher and slightly stretchier than their previous sleeve. I think they're supposed to be better though, right? These are supposed to give you more poundage. These are a size large. I typically wear an XL or 2XL just because I don't care. I don't compete anymore. I just want them to get easy on and off. We're gonna try these on. I'll probably just work up to a, a nice little moderate squat single uh, and we'll give you a little review as we move around. They already actually don't stretch as much. They are newer. My, my other SVDs are a little older. And it's kind of hard, again, to justify or compare size to size. Because you feel a little four-way stretch when you're playing with these boys. But when you put it on, they actually do kind of suction to your ass. I'm a little sweaty because it's hot out. When you're a little sweaty, it's harder to put these bad boys on. But we'll put these on, and then we'll find a squat rack, and we'll get after it. They actually um, like touch more of you than the normal sleeves. A lot of them leave gaps. So these contour, one, they are a size down, but they contour to like every inch of my body pretty good. I can already feel, it is biting the back of your knee a little bit. I tried the Inzers when they first came out. They bitch you the back of your knee. A lot of people say like, uh, man, it feels like wraps. Well, those people have never worn wraps. Like wraps actually bite you. Like if you do a, a, a good wrap, like I couldn't even do this with no effort. There is slight bite behind the knee, which is maybe a good sign. Again, I'm a little jaded. I may not be the best person to review all these things. Um, I think people's hype on them is cool because they're excited about the sport. To be honest, it's probably overrated. A single knee sleeve is not gonna make or break your career. Um, and it's easy enough to look at the records from the past and current in sleeves or wraps or any equipment you want. Equipment has gotten slightly better, but if it was clear cut one best sleeve on the market that added poundage, every world record would be held in that knee sleeve. And that's just not the case. Same with sneakers, same with singlets, same with haircuts, I don't give a shit. Um, it's just not the case. So we can't really, you know, viably say that these are the best to play the game. But that being said, um, again, they are a size down what I'm used to, but the feel of these is something I do enjoy. Um, again, I don't know if it's the size or it might be this stretch that goes with them to allow you to get them on, but it does feel more contact throughout my entire knee. Uh, even though it bunched a little bit in the back, often when you wear uh, other knee sleeves, there'll be wrinkles up top and it won't contour to your body as well. This one ended up contouring to my knee very good. So I felt contact and compression everywhere. Warmth is solid, compression felt really, really good, um, but not overbearing. It wasn't overbearing to put on um, and it wasn't overbearing um, compression. So again, I know people are talking about different sizes and stuff. I can't really say. It's not like I have medium larges and XLs to really compare right now, but uh, I got slightly big quads, slightly small knees for a 5'9", 210 guy. Uh, and they overall felt really, really good. So not sponsored by SBD by any means. I got a lot of friends that work in this space, work for the company and around it, but I'm as honest as I can. I think they're great. If you have an old pair of SBDs and you're worried about making bills or buying Christmas presents, you probably don't need a new pair. Um, but if you have excess cash going everywhere, go ahead into 3sb.co and buy a t-shirt. And then if you got excess cash after that, uh, you can go buy some SBDs and it's probably a decent investment. The construction seems really, really solid and good, so they'll probably last you a long time. Anything you build that's gonna get thrashed in the weight room, 
has a lifespan. And so, so much comes down to the manufacturing's consistency, which is difficult. Um, but the stitching, the construction of these does feel really solid. So best of luck to you if you like them. Shout out SBD with continuing to try to push the game and very least putting out um, products and money towards the sport, because that's what it's really about. You want to put money into places that support you, what you like, and building the sport. And the Sheffield is obviously a clear indicator that SBD is about it. So if they're about it, I'm about it, man. Appreciate y'all. I'm going to grab some deadlifts real quick. Uh, new content every single day, so stay tuned. 3 see all your clothing needs. Hot drop coming soon. So goodcompanydiscord.com if you want exclusive early touches. If you keep selling out, you got to go to the Discord. Goodcompanydiscord.com. Join it. I'll be in there every day talking to you. Go say what's up. Uh, we over me, man. Be a part of something bigger yourself. Community and culture. Southern Mike, we're out.